Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time to show you guys how to connect a Dutch fuse box and we have two different types of uh, streetlight connections here so let's first go over that um, so this is um, to connect the streetlight where the ground and the neutral are connected to each other so as you can see we have this is the logo of the ground and this is the logo of the neutral and those are connected here which is something you shouldn't use on a normal house installation but on the streets uh, you will pretty much find these type of fuse boxes with like these two things connected to each other doesn't mean you st um, you can still connect them of course there are still ways to like I mean you could still um, get like your neutral wire inside of here and um, connect the ground directly to the pole or to a separate little block that allows you to use these uh, types of fuse boxes with these this connection over here on a house installation but more on that like in a separate video then here we have a fuse box that actually is for three phases but um, you can actually use the use these on a normal house installation so these are for three phases as you can see um, and the neutral wires are connected here but they are separated with the ground wire so you could just use these uh, in whatever house installation you want to use these say for a street light in the garden for example but today we are going to focus on uh, this type of fuse box and I made a video about uh, how my street lights are connected which shows you how um, those other fuse boxes are connected but I'm going to make a separate video on those but yeah let's start with this uh, fuse box over here so I'm first going to tell you guys a bit how they work it's very easy so you just open it with a screwdriver push the screwdriver down and then it opens and you can push this plastic over here which makes the cover come off so um, as you can see we have two phases here um, the neutral and the ground which are connected again and then we have this little pin which um, pretty much it depends on this pin where um, the ward cable the uh, fixture is connected to so, so you have to connect the fixture like to here and um, yeah the fuse pretty much like when you there isn't a fuse in this one but yeah with the pin over here um, that means that like once there is voltage on this cable it will actually uh, make the fixture work if you have the fuse inside of the fuse box but um, if there's power on this cable and not on this cable there will pretty much nothing will happen there's only some voltage on this fuse box but the fixture won't work but yeah um, let's wire this fixture up fixture fuse box so I only have uh, two phase uh, one phase cable as you can see just a brown wire and a blue wire and the uh, ground is inside that's this copper color that's between all the other wire things so obviously you want to uh, start with stripping the wire we are using the cable and um, I'd recommend stripping it around 40 centimeters uh, so you have enough cable to especially enough ground to pretty much ground every type of pole so be careful with uh, sharp knives like these I haven't cut myself yet but I wouldn't be surprised if that is going to happen in this video so yeah you just can't like pull the cover of the uh, cable off like this and we have a special knife for that which is this knife 
with this little thing on it and like that we can pretty much strip the wire very easily you don't have to cut it all the way open but it would help a lot if you do it at least halfway So this is more than enough and then you can just pull like the entire cover of the cable so then we have this little metal cover here which i'd recommend you doing this with gloves because that could quite hurt sometimes yeah you just want to push it down and get some scissors and you want to get all the metal off but be careful for the um, ground wire which you definitely shouldn't um, cut but it could sometimes happen this one is copper colored which makes it very easy to separate them but mostly they aren't mostly they're just the same color as this but yeah you want to pretty much cut this from the cable and you can just put it off the cable and then you should try to get like the rest of the metal cover off like this So when that's all nice and gone, um, you want to strip the rest of the cable, um, which is overly long right now. I'd like 25 to 30 centimeters is more than enough. So you want to cut like the top of the cables. Because we don't we don't need that much length. So be careful to not cut the cable too far. Especially when using very sharp knives like I do. So to prevent uh, this cover uh, that's inside the cable. To prevent that from rusting which happens quite easily. And to um, also have some protection for the earth you want to cut like 10 centimeters of this which is basically just a plastic kind of case that you get around your cable so like 10 centimeters is more than enough and get that around your cable and then get yourself a little bit of tape and which you should wrap around the top of the cable um, like this and make sure to wrap it very tight so water couldn't leak into the cable also so that the cover couldn't come off anymore so then I recommend stripping these wires um, I'd leave the brown wire at the same length let's just strip that and then um, cut like two centimeters of the uh, blue wire because that's like a bit lower in the fuse box two or three centimeters and strip that like this try to get your wires nice again because they are quite thin so then it's time to connect this cable to the fuse box um, so I'd recommend using the left side of the fuse box because you use the right side of the fuse box for the uh, fixture to connect the fixture but sometimes in some installations two wires go into the fuse box and that makes it a different story but 
still I recommend uh, try using the left side as much as you can. So you want to start with connecting the earth which you should just fold like this. I'll zoom in a little bit. Which you should fold like this and then make it go into the bottom screw which as you can see is the earth. So you should open the screw a bit more then just get this cable into the earth and screw it very tightly so the cable can't escape. So then it's time to connect the other two or three wires depending on what, how much you have and first fold them downwards then get your finger over here and fold them upwards again then fold them like this and get it into your fuse box and do the same thing um, so brown is normally the A which stands for evening in Dutch and the N which is for which is the night and black is mostly the night but since we only have one face on this cable um, just connect it where the pin is because the pin is what makes voltage go to the fixture so get that wire up there like this Then try to make it look nice by getting the wires nice. And then the last thing is the last bit of uh, earth. So again, you should put this this cover on there and try to measure the length of the cable, and then. Cut it like two centimeters shorter than the length of your ground and put it over the ground wire so you have a little bit of uh, room to play with the length of the cable and then mount this uh, or an eye on the wire. And this is pretty much how you connect a fuse box. Um, again, with this connection being here, with the uh, ground and the neutral being connected, I'd recommend not using this type of fuse box. Um, and, we'll, and I'll show in a separate video uh, the type of fuse box you should get. And... Um, show how to connect that one which is not much different from this one um, still of course you can still use this type if you take the ground wire off and just uh, directly connect it to the pole of course when you do that the fixture isn't grounded but mostly with a metal fixture um, just grounding the pole is more than enough but yeah, um, this pretty much was the end of the video. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you in the next video.